They also like their, to sneak their tight end out. Under Cuffler, fakes the reserve, reverse, throws for the end zone, and a one-handed catch is made in the end zone for the touchdown. Dykes did it there out to the 39-yard line. English throws over the middle, and there goes Keiston Fuller. He's picking him up and putting him down, and he's gone. 61 yards, Bo English to Keiston Fuller. Touchdown, Spiders. There's the explosive plays we've been looking for. We know we got the guy to do it in Keiston Fuller. Just get him the ball in space and let him make magic happen. In that first quarter from the Spider linebacking position, under Cuffler going for it all again, and he made it look so easy to Jawan Green in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. What a connection, under Cuffler to Green, and just like that, Albany on the first play of the second quarter regains the lead. Yeah. First and 10 at the Great Dane, 36. Green. Screen play set up, and there's the Spiders' first interception of the year. It comes from Maurice Jackson, and Jackson is down inside the 10-yard line. The INT, the turnover the Spider defense was looking for, and it's Big Mo changing the Mo of this game. 40 seconds to go. English on second down and goal. English into the end zone, over the goal line. Touchdown, Spiders. Woo, Leo puts his head down and bowls into the end zone. You can smell it. He needed to get that done. There was no way Josh Wynn, the free safety, pops in there. No way he was stopping Bo English. Jeff Undercuffler looks over the middle of the field. Touchdown. Jera Reeves got between the Spider defenders, outstretches his arms, puts it on his fingertips, and hauls it in for the Albany touchdown. Yeah. Bo English takes one snap and the clock will wind down to all zeros. And the Richmond Spiders will continue their mastery of the Albany Great Danes. It's now 7-0 for the Spiders against Albany. And most importantly, Russ Huseman's team snaps a three-game losing streak. Russ can crack a little bit of a smile today.